Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, guys. Celtic Warband here, and this is an extremely short video, and it's just going to address uh, basically the kingdoms.exe error that a lot of people get when they try to install mods for Medieval 2 Total War. I literally get three to five uh, questions per day about the kingdoms.exe error, and I continually have to write this the same kind of response into it, and it's nobody's fault or anything because they're not really looking for an answer. Uh, they probably think they're the first ones to ask the question, but it actually seems to affect a lot of people, and uh, I'll just show you exactly what I'm talking about here. So if I kind of go into my local C drive, this is where I have my Medieval 2 and all of my mods saved on, uh, on my SSD. So we're going to follow the pathway right to Steam. Uh, so if we go to the local C, uh, Program Files 86, down to Steam, and then Steam Apps, and then up to Common. And we've got uh, Medieval 2 Total War right here, so double click on that. And then the Mods folder. So you can see I've got all of my mods set up here. And... Uh, this is stainless steel 6.3 or 6.4 I believe I have installed over top so but you see what happens when I double click on this launcher it says unable to locate kingdoms.exe uh, is your kingdoms.exe in your medieval to uh, medieval total war 2 folder so it that's it's basically looking for an executable file an executive file is something that launches the game uh, and a lot of these mods are, are built over top of the Kingdoms expansion, so the Americas, British Isles, uh, Crusades, and Teutonic down here. So it's basically looking for a Kingdoms.exe, which for some reason Medieval 2 doesn't have automatically built in, and it's super simple to fix. So if we just back out so that we're in the Steam Maps Common Medieval 2 folder, so before you click into the mods, and if you scroll down here, you can see this little Medieval 2... Uh, little helmet logo thing and if you look over here it says application so basically what this is is this is the medieval 2 executable so this is what launches medieval 2 so if you uh if you just right click on that and hit copy and then just paste it right here to desktop because you can't you can't have two things of the same same name inside see if you try to do that uh, it'll it will just replace the file in the destination so basically all you need to do is click on this one and then you just need to rename it Kingdoms. Now, make sure to do it exactly like this. If you do a capital K, it will not work. If you also go over here and put EXE at the end, it will not work. So it needs to just be Kingdoms all lowercase, just like so. And then you just drag it back in. And see, now you've got a Kingdoms application, and you've got a Medieval 2 application. So now, uh, when we... Sorry, uh, when we go into the mods folder here, and then we click on stainless steel 6.3, and we click on the stainless steel launcher, you can tell that it's already found the uh, executable file. The error did not come up, and uh, I don't know if you can see uh, it launching right now, just because I usually have to switch my Bandicam platform over. Just waiting for it to exit there but yeah that's it that's basically all you need to uh, do to fix that error so hopefully you enjoyed this very very uh, quick tutorial uh, I know that it plagues a lot of people and it's really frustrating after you spend you know an hour or two downloading a mod and then it doesn't even work but usually a lot of these fixes are very easy so hopefully that helped you guys be sure to like comment and subscribe if you'd like to see more and I will see you in the next one